Hi guys, it's Sheila. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Dyson Airwrap. Um, as you guys know, if you have been watching my latest videos, I am on the search for something that's healthier for my hair. I was using the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer, the original, um, for a while and it was causing my hair to have a lot of breakage, to fall a lot and it just didn't feel healthy anymore and I was just kind of desperate looking for new things to try. Since then, I have tried the Dyson Supersonic on my channel, and I also tried on the T3 Micro um, T3 Micro Airbrush Duo, and I really like that one as well. It leaves my hair so soft, and I think it's not comparable to the Dyson, so I think that there's use for the two of them, and at least for me personally, just because I want to have something that's um, that I can dry my hair a little bit faster since the brush is much bigger. But you can go ahead and watch that video and let me know what your thoughts are. I just fell in love with how I left my hair and the texture that it gave me. But today we're going to be finally trying out the Dyson Airwrap. The reason that it took me so long to review this on my channel is because I tried it a couple times in different ways. And honestly, I just didn't want to come here and try it on for the first time just because I know there's like a little bit of a learning curve and the first like three to four times that I tried it I being completely completely 100% transparent I hated it I didn't really know how to use it I hadn't like learned the right way to hold it or anything like that and I tried it in different ways as well I was trying to use the curling ones to dry my hair from like damp to dry and that's just not right for my type of hair. Um, I have very thick curly hair so it's also very frizzy so as soon as I did that I knew immediately that was not going to work out but I still went ahead and did it just to see how my hair would really react and I wasn't really going anywhere that day so now I think I finally know what I like and what works for my hair. So today I'm going to be going over that with you guys. I purchased it from the Dyson website and there you can go in and kind of fill out a survey and it asks you like the length of your hair, what you're trying to accomplish, and then it'll give you an option if you say long hair for the long barrel set. And from there you can add it to your cart to no additional cost. You're not going to get the short ones, you're going to get only the long ones with the long barrel set. This is if you're in the US, I'm sure other countries do have it available for the long barrel set um, that you can just purchase and see it on the website. For US, unfortunately, that's not the case. So it comes in this presentation case. Um, mine didn't bring like the slit that you can put um, when you have hot tools. It just brought like this right here, this leather um, separator. And then here are all the attachments. Hopefully you can see. I also have the short ones as well because I didn't know what I was gonna need. But I ended up purchasing um, the thinner long barrels. So they have two sizes to their barrels and I'll show you the short ones before. Um, these are the smaller sizes and I also have these in long, which is the ones that I use today, these. And then we have um, a little bit of more bulky, I think this is 0 0.4, 0 0.3. I don't know if that's centimeters to be honest with you. I didn't really look into that, but basically you have a fatter one and a, and a thinner one. And then I also have those in the big, the big long barrels. And on those, on the bigger ones, they offer a 0.2, which is super, super skinny. And I purchased that too, thinking that's what I wanted. And honestly, this is just too thin for me. Um, and then it also brought this comb and this paddle brush right here. And I really like them. I use them both. Sorry for all the, I just did my hair, okay? It's hairy. And then also we have the blow dryer attachment, which I really like. I think it's very different to the blow dryer, which I also reviewed on my channel. And I really, really like it. I think it's really gentle and it dries my hair super quick. So I like that. And um, what else? So I have the paddle brush here and then the older paddle brush that's supposed to be for more volume. This one they recommend for um, more of a straight look, like if you were using a header straightener. And my favorite attach attachment of them all is gotta be the round brush. I love this thing. It's so amazing. It's just very good at sealing the ends of your hair. I think it's amazing. Um, but you do have to use a much, um, a very thin strand of hair and for somebody with as much, <laughs> as much hair as me, that just doesn't work. I'm going to just spend my whole life here drying my hair. So that is all the attachments that I have. Like you saw, I saw I have the long barrels on three sizes, the short barrels on two. I'm going to be using just one of the long barrels in this video just because I, this is a look that I wanted to achieve, but I did use, um, all the other attachments, um, that you're going to see in a minute. Okay, so my hair is wet. It is not completely dry, but it's very close to it. Um, however, I will be still using the um, blow dryer attachment to this a little bit more. 
Um, hopefully I don't dry my hair too much, but I still use it. So they say you want to have your hair like 90% damp, especially if you have thicker hair like me. That is um, usually what I go for just because I don't want um, much frizz in my hair. And I also don't want to like give too much heat to very wet hair. I'm going to start with the blow dryer attachment. My hair is like 90%. 80% dry right now. I don't know if I'm gonna dry it too much, but I have like a little bit of a spray bottle here in case I do. Um, but I wanna show you guys like how it would look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down for the lowest speed just for this step. I'm gonna go ahead and take this attachment off. So I'm gonna go here, click it down and just pull very easy to take it out and then I'm gonna move on to the paddle brush so it brings two paddle brushes one is supposed to give you a more straightened look and people recommend this one for people with thicker hair curly hair like I have and then if you have more finer hair um, if you want a little bit of volume then you can go ahead and use this one with the pink um, with the pink hairbrush or brushes instead um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Obviously, I haven't really tried this one much. I can't tell you a difference. Um, I didn't really notice anything either when I tried to use it, but I just like stuck with using this one just because people recommended it to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. It's very easy to just kind of plug it in. Be careful not to break this because it, I don't know if you can see like the little um, things that it has like right here. That is how it attaches to. So if one of those breaks, then you're gonna have to buy a new attachment. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to put some products in before I blow dry my hair, and I'm gonna part it in a couple of different ways. So the first um, product that I'm gonna be putting on is the Olaplex Number no. Six Bond Smoother, and I've been using this recently. Why isn't it? I've been using this um, recently. I just purchased this, so I've probably used it like three or four times, and I've definitely noticed a big difference onto how my hair comes out in the end. That gets stuck in there pretty good, so you have to like really try it, but I'm gonna put like this amount for my whole hair. And then I put it from the middle of my hair all the way to the ends. I don't apply this to the roots at all. This is supposed to really seal the end of your hair um, and protect it, make it um, stronger and also help with um, a lot of parting. If you have a lot of split ends, it's supposed to help with that. I'm gonna go ahead with this uh, leave-in conditioner from Heritage. I've been using this not I guess not for too long. I've only used this a couple of times. I don't, I wouldn't like say like I recommend this with my eyes closed. I don't know if I would go ahead and repurchase that to be honest, but I am using it down just because I have it. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit just um, all around my head. And I'm gonna start right here, very like subtle because I don't wanna put too much. And I do wanna mention that the products that you do put um, while you're showering do really matter. And I've changed to the brand way and Moroccan oil, and I really see a difference. I have both lines. I have their thick hair um, shampoo and their medium hair conditioner, and I also have the thick hair hair mask, and I have the, the um, moisturizing line for Moroccan oil. I'm gonna go ahead with the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of this, maybe like three or four drops all around my hair, not so much on the top, but all throughout. Um, I also wanted to mention that one of my friends uh, suggested a new way of me washing my hair and it has made a complete difference onto how my hair looks in the end and basically I get in the shower and I put conditioner from this part of my hair all the way to the end and then I go in with three shampoos on this area just because I have a very oily scalp very dry ends and then at the end I wash off my shampoos and then I go in with a conditioner I uh, leave it on for about three to five minutes I don't put too much over here, just uh, enough for it to be coated because I definitely don't want a dry scalp either. And then I, that's it, I take it off, come out, and then my ends haven't been super, super dry ever since I started doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair in half. I don't have a mirror in front of me, I'm using my camera, which I don't know if it's the best idea, but we're working with what we got. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead with the blow dryer. I am gonna put it still on the lowest, um, Fan setting, the highest setting for the heat.
So I have a big section in the back and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in half. I have a lot of hair, so this is why I don't go in with a round brush because it would take me like a bazillion years um, to get it over with. And I kind of watched a video the other day that said that um, the round brush is mostly for giving your ends a little bit of a curl um, and kind of make it look like you have like a salon blowout. Not so much for like drying your hair with it. That's what the paddle brushes are for. So I kind of figured because I, I feel like it just works better that way. Also, the paddle brush is much faster at drying my hair. I didn't look at the time before I started and I should have done that, um, but it's 512 right now and I have like both sides. I don't know if you guys saw, but I'm probably going to speed this up and take the sound out just because nobody wants to listen to a blow dryer. But I turned it off by mistake a couple of times and it was kind of uh, bothering me. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it around so when I hold it, my finger is on this side where you actually take it off. So I don't like accidentally turn it off versus holding it this way and having my finger kind of here. to the upper part of my hair and then um, I'm probably gonna use a round brush just because I want to use most of the tools and to be completely honest with my type of hair um, if I were to just use the paddle brush and then leave it as it is my ends are not like completely blown out and completely soft to where I would like them to or where they could be just because the um, this is not like spending any time <laughs> on my ends and I definitely need to um, kind of like do like this a couple of times to smooth them out. So on that last one, on the last um, strand of hair that I did, I was noticing that my hair just wasn't drying and then I looked at it and it looks like I accidentally clicked the um, heat setting and I had it on the lowest one. So that's probably why I turn it quickly back up to the um, highest one and it started drying my hair super fast. It looks like I've been filming for 23 minutes now and I still have this stop of my hair. I am gonna switch to the round brush now. What I will mention is that I watched a lot of tutorials when I was waiting for my Dyson to get to me. And just because I knew I only had like 30 days after I got it to return it or to decide if I wanted to keep it. So I watched this video and this girl would take like a strand of hair like this and she would like run the brush with the round brush like this all the way through. Like if it was a paddle brush. And at first I didn't really understand what she was doing. I'm like, what are you doing? Just like turn your brush. But as soon as I got the brush, um, and I started using it, I completely understood what she was doing. You can definitely use it this way. I don't know if the right, that's the right way to use it, but if you want to use a round brush and then use the curling irons on the ends, you can definitely do that. Just kind of take it and brush here like this. You don't have to run it all the way through, but you kind of brush, 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 and it will actually work on your hair. Um, I just don't do that just because I want to use it as a round brush, but just something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna start sectioning this part of the hair.
Okay, so this is what my hair looks like if I want like very straight hair with the paddle brush and kind of topping it off with the round brush. If I wanted more of a blowout and like more volume right here or more like a little bit of a curl in the ends, I would probably just spend more time using the round brush and or use it for my whole head. But I'm gonna move back a little bit so you guys can see like how it looks. It looks super nice, I think. Um, the ends are not completely like smooth like I said but since I'm gonna go in with the um, curling irons I just didn't spend too much time using it so the reason I go in with the paddle brush and dry my whole hair um, before I go in with the curling irons is because I tried it the other way and my hair was so frizzy it was just like nope not for me and I knew that going in that my hair is just not those one of those uh, types of hair where you can do that just kind of like blow dry it really easily and then just go about your day I definitely need to go in there with a brush and kind of smooth it out smooth out those curls um, so that didn't work for me I'm just gonna show you like a side hopefully it looks good that's what it looks like my hair is very long so you guys can see right there uh, I really like it now I'm gonna move on to the curling irons show you which sizes I have I have the three sizes I did end up purchasing the point two don't quote me on the sizes of this but basically I have the fatter one <laughs> the middle one which are the two that would come normally with the set and then they have an additional one only on the long barrels that is very thin um, this one I tried I wasn't too impressed I really like the middle one and really love the big one so I'm gonna go with the middle one what I really love about these long barrels is that you can get a different look depending on which one you, you want to use and you can even use it as a curling iron if you flip it this way and wrap your hair around it. And I'm going to take a small section of my hair. My hair is very long, very thick and very heavy so it's not going to pick up all the hair um, but it will pick up the ends and then I kind of just wrap it around. It's very easy. Um, it's definitely less work than using a normal curling iron so let's go for it. I have it on the highest heat setting lowest um, fan setting because I don't want any frizz. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your hair, always have your hand on top of it, so never hold it on the ends and go with the product like this is not going to work. You want to hold it on top and let the hair wrap around. I use the heat for about 10 seconds and then did the cool shot for about 8 more seconds and honestly my hair holds a curl pretty well but I always go in with um, some somewhat of a cool setting even when I'm using like a hair dryer or anything like that I go in with just um, just to finish it off I feel like it works better and it kind of locks in the style and it gives me less frizz so I'm gonna leave it there until the end it's gonna look very ridiculous until then but that's okay okay so I finished my whole hair um, as you can see this side has kind of fallen a little bit I mean it's not as tight as this side obviously I'm not gonna just leave it like that but they do fall in time. I just don't want to touch it right now. If I were to do this today, let's say, and I'm going somewhere tomorrow and I want my hair to be very, um, like to hold the style, I would probably not even touch it and leave it like this overnight. But since I do want to show you guys like how the final look looks, um, I'll show you what I do. So I'm going to take the Way Finishing Cream. This stuff smells amazing and is amazing i really really like it the only thing that i've tried from way that i haven't liked is their leaving conditioner however my friend really likes it to me it just kind of leaves um my hair very dry and kind of like hard almost but she is very much uh finer hair than me and shorter and she really likes it she loves it um she uses it all the time i just can't use it i it's not for me so I'm going to take this amount um, and I'm going to just spread it all throughout my hands and I'm just going to do like this and kind of try to break it apart almost. I don't want to go strand by strand. I just want to make sure that my hair is kind of coated in this. Um, you can do like this as well. I don't recommend like going in with a brush. If you are going to do this, use a comb and then it starts to kind of break apart. I just do it with my hands. I don't know. I think it works better. And then you can start to see there how it looks. If I wanted more volume, I can use one of the other um, 
or the same one. I can just take like little strands and do more curls. That way it's like going to become bigger on this area. But I just wanted something super simple and to just show you guys like guys like what the style looks like versus using a normal um, curling iron. So I love the curls that it gives me. I think they're super pretty and this is still like super bouncy. They're definitely going to fall off more um, as time goes by, but I still think that they are very nice. This is them right there. I think they are so pretty and like my hair looks so shiny. It feels nice. It smells very nice because that weight cream definitely feel, smells very good. If you have very fine hair um, and you can't really hold a curl, I would definitely recommend and uh, looking into that weight cream. Sorry that I'm like obsessed with it, but I'm just trying to like break them apart a little bit so you guys can see. The reason I decided to keep it, even though it kind of takes me the kind of the same time as doing my hair with any other hair dryer and going in with a curling iron right after is because of the shininess and the texture that my hair has gotten and <laughs> since I started using this tool and I just really like that. I think in my opinion it is worth it even though it comes with such a high price tag. Today I'm not going to talk about like the whole Kawanda effect. I'm not an engineer. I'm sure you have heard it in every other video you've watched on YouTube. I don't have much use for this one. I feel like um, it should be like a choice whether you want one or the other and maybe that could bring the price down because with my type of hair I will never be able to use this and I'm sure someone with a different type of hair would never be able to use this one or just wouldn't want to if they are looking for volume. So to me these two are just the same thing and that just takes one of the attachments off and makes the whole price overall like much higher. Very expensive, okay? It's very expensive. We all know that. It's definitely not like a need for anybody. Um, I'm sure there's other options. Like I said, the T3 Airbrush Duo is amazing if you're looking for just a hair dryer. But this one has the option for the curling ones. And I think that is their best selling point to market this at such a high price. So I think it's really nice the fact that it just wraps your hair. Um, if you have long hair and kind of like heavy hair like me, you are going to have to help it. It kind of like feeds into um, the, the wand and I just kind of turn it around. It's still very much easier than wrapping my hair around it and like holding it up. I'm just going to say that like it's, it's definitely much easier. It doesn't really take away anything from this, the easiness of this tool. Um, the other thing I'm going to say is that when I am blow drying my hair, it is very heavy. Um, sometimes it's even heavier than the airbrush duo, which is like much bigger and it's heavier than the hairbrush or the hair dryer. Um, so yeah, that's, those are my thoughts. The hair products that I've been using have made such a big difference in the texture of my hair. I love the fact that this tomorrow is going to still look a little bit wavy um, and it's still going to have like a little bit of the style that I have today. And the other thing that I really love about this tool is not only that you can like get different um, hairstyles with all the attachments that it brings, is that you, you can also hairstyle your hair multiple times during the week. Like tomorrow I might wake up with um, a little bit of a wave. The next day I might have completely fat hair and I can go in and curl my hair one more time and it won't ha I won't have to like wash my hair again to have a different style or even today like sometimes I can use the hair wand um, and just kind of curl my hair on the ends only and not have like the little you know what I mean and then I can use a round brush to have like a blow blowout look and then I can just use the paddle brush to have like a straight look it's just so versatile and I just really really like it so anyway, in my opinion, this is really worth it. I am really, really glad that I looked into it, that I got it. Um, and I just really like how my hair feels, looks, how it's behaving. Um, and I don't notice much frizz um, when I use it this way. I use it on the highest setting and then the lowest fan setting. And that seems to be the best thing for my type of hair. It doesn't leave my hair frizzy at all. I tried using it on the lowest heat setting and it just, it was taking too long for to dry my hair. So I just uh, wanted to kind of cut that time and that's what I did. We'll say this again, if I were to use this to blow dry my hair from damped to absolutely dry with the curling ones, it's just not going to work. So if that's what you're looking to do and you have my texture type of hair, um, I don't think you're going to be much, I don't think you have much luck. But let, not to say that if you have curly hair you can't do this. If you have very fine curly hair you can definitely do this. I just uh, I'm not able to achieve this with my hair unfortunately even though I would like to. The other thing I will say is that if you have your hair very very damp it's also not going to work very well for you. I would definitely wait till it's about 80 90 percent if not more dry and um, whenever I wait till it's about like 90 percent 
it's a very fine line between being perfectly dry to putting to me putting like my leave-in and um my oil and then my hair being a little bit um I don't know what the right word for it is but it just like doesn't dry smoothly and you can still feel like the product on my hair so I definitely have to be careful because if it's too wet it won't turn out okay and if it's too dry then it will turn out really like dry and um with some kind of like texture because of the products that I put on but otherwise it is very very soft to the touch um very shiny I don't know if you guys can see it's just like it looks really nice um, I love it. I personally love how it looks. I love the volume that it gives me and let me see if I can like There it is. Okay, so you can have like a little bit of a different look Hopefully, I don't look crazy because I'm so far from the camera that I can't see but Yeah, I I really really like this tool. I Recommend it with my eyes closed um, if you have my type of hair and this is the look that you're going for I don't think this replaces the fact that if you like that curling one look um, I don't think this like completely takes it out where you have to like get rid of those. Um, I think this is a very specific look to someone that wants a very natural blowout, a very natural curl style um, and just doesn't want to do much with their hair and kind of look like they're put together. That's I think that's who this is marketed to. So I just woke up and I brushed my hair. I should have showed you how it looked before I brushed it just because I look a lot more um, curly than this, but I wanted to brush it just because you know how you get how your hair gets when you sleep. It just doesn't look the best. Um, but this is next day hair after doing my curls with the Dyson Airwrap, and I think it looks really nice. I could go in with um, more curls in the front if I wanted to, or I could just use like the round brush to give it a little bit more life. Um, but overall, it looks very pretty. Um, the curls don't look as tight as if you were using like a curling, like a normal, a regular curling iron. But I just think I really like it. Um, and it looks really healthy, really nice, really pretty, feels really soft. I didn't put any um, hairspray just because I don't really use hairspray. I use it like if I was going to like a wedding or something like that. But normally I don't like to use that on my hair. I feel like my curls just stay uh, very nicely and that um, cream that I use from Way didn't make my hair crunchy or anything like that so so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or anything that I forgot to mention um, please leave them down below um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video don't forget to subscribe below and like this video and I will see you guys on my next one bye